Mark that spot and, and turn until you get to some water music. It's um, a lot of you have a yellow tab. Yep. Red tab, I'm sorry, red tab. Okay, here and here. Yeah. Maybe I can maybe I should just go and ask since it's such an odd situation. Yeah, maybe it might be a good idea to go ask. I might go after the can somebody watch that? Yep. Oh, the yellow look feels clammy. It's everything. It's a little bit. Yeah, Evelyn, I don't think she got a good start. You know? And I think Wendy did the best she could while she had her and then Wendy retired. Um, I don't think Evelyn had a good start. I mean, for what I know, is that she had a, sl a very slow start. Yeah. But, I mean, she's very visual, you know? Like, she's very visual, and I think, like, now that we're doing a lot of more reading, has been helping a lot. I think we just, like, we're, you know, working on, on feeling the rhythm. That's the one thing that she's yeah. still struggling. But it's because, you know, like, the visual and, like, the... It's not really connecting yet, but, I mean, I hope we can... I've been working on that. It's it's you know it's a slow process. Yep. She's my only hope. I, I think if I can find a place I can spread them out. I think I'm gonna take like 20 some children and divide them into groups of five. That's trying to be small groups if the UI will allow. Yeah, no, I mean I was I asked them about it. I was like what is gonna happen with EPYO and they said, Oh, you know, most likely it's going to be online, and I was like, wow, that's, in, that's no, very they brave. Can't, they can't do that. I'm looking for a big, he said hand wave, but he can't give any emotion with his head. So it could be hand or hand, the, the gentleman in the uh, light blue. Okay. So just, he's going to give it to you? He's going to give you a few. So what I know, because I'm on the conductor. Asking if we were on schedule, and he's like, oh. than likely the older group. I'll just look for his uh, head nod. Yeah, because if you're John, I said... Uh, water I had, music is appropriate. I had to start, I thought about yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> because just keep playing. Because I'm, I'm the older one of the three. Yeah. But uh, John, John talked me out of it. Because they just, you know, they need somebody younger who they get this stuff from the guy. Yeah. So, um... I think I might take my 20 something and divide them into groups of five and do two nights a week. Hour, 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 hour. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, that's gonna, what everybody else is doing. Right? No, I mean, I mean, I mean like, once it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had that mark. So. I don't think John and Betsy are going to do it. Oh, wow. Well, I'll be the only one doing it. How about, how about some air and F? Okay, yeah. It's time. It's time. Oh, okay. That was a good hand wave. This is kind of... Tell when we're done. Okay, yeah, just nodded. Okay.
Can you all see? I just start camping. Before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to not use their cell phones during the service and during the first dance. It's really important to both Eric and Rebecca that you're in the moment with them tonight, and by not using your cell phones, that would be very helpful. For those of you who are following the program, I am not the Reverend James Horton. But as I stand here tonight, I'm reminded of one of my favorite Bible verses from the book of Jeremiah, when God said, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a future, plans not to harm you, and plans to give you hope and a future. From the moment Rebecca and Eric were born, this was God's plan for them to be here tonight together. And on behalf of Rebecca and Eric and their families, we are humbled that you are here with us tonight to share the celebration of their love. But thankfully, through the gift of technology, there are friends and family who couldn't be here but are with us through technology, and we welcome them as well. And whether you're here in person tonight or whether you're joining us through technology, it was because of you that we are here tonight. You've encouraged this couple, you've supported this couple, You've laughed with this couple. You've probably cried with this couple. But most importantly, you've loved this couple. And for that, we are truly thankful. We've come here together tonight in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by His presence at the first, meta, first wedding and the miracle at Cana. It signifies to us 
the mystery of the union between Christ and His church, and the Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all His people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended for God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and in adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and to raise them with the love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance for the purpose for which it is intended. Into this holy union, Rebecca Bihar and Eric Gronrus now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause while they may not be lawfully married, speak now or forever hold your peace. Rebecca, I have some questions for you. Will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Eric, will you have this woman to be your wife? to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. And to our friends and family who are here and to our friends and family who are joining us by technology, will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? If so, say we will. Amen. Who presents this woman tonight to this man? Her mother and I. And now some friends of Eric and Rebecca have some readings, beginning with the Song of Solomon. <laughs> no, no, it's hmm. printed out <laughs> on your phone. Supposed to print it on your phone. <laughs> that was, there'll be a slight delay in the Song of Solomon, <laughs> but it is a song worth waiting for. We'll go out of order slightly, and we'll start with the Gospel of John. And now from the Gospel of John. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Is it me? Yeah. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Thank you. And now, the Song of Solomon. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to put this on. <laughs> <laughs> My beloved speaks and says to me, Arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. For behold, the winter is past, the rain is over and gone, the flowers appear on the earth, the time of singing has come, and the voice of the turtle dove is heard on our, in our land. The fig tree ripens its figs, and the vines are in blossom. They give forth fragrance. Arise, my love, my beautiful one, and come away. I have more. <laughs> I'm sorry for ruining your wedding. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dramatic pause. <laughs> Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm, 
For love is strong as death, jealousy is fierce as the grave. Its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man offered for love all the wealth of his house, he would be utterly despised. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Laughter is an important part of marriage. And if you saw the smiles on their faces that was happening, then you knew these two were meant to be together. Rebecca, Eric, there are going to be promises made all over the world tonight. But there is no promise made in the world tonight that is any more important than the promise that the two of you are about to make to each other. Eric, if you'll take Rebecca's right hand in yours and repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Eric, take you, Rebecca. I, Eric, take you, Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Rebecca, will you take Eric's right hand in yours and repeat after me? In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Rebecca, take you, Eric. I, Rebecca, take you, Eric. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Does someone have a ring? Thank you. The ring is made of precious metal to symbolize the precious nature of love. The ring is a circle to signify unending love. And you'll wear it as a constant reminder that no matter where you go in the world, you will be mindful that your life is forever tied to another. Eric, I'm going to hand you these rings. Before you put it on, bless, O Lord, this ring to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. And Eric, if you can repeat after me. Rebecca. Rebecca. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and with all that I am. And all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And you would place the ring on her finger. That's pretty. <laughs> Bless, O Lord, this ring to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. Rebecca, if you could put that on Eric's ring finger and repeat after me. Eric. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Now that Rebecca and Eric have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And now let us pray using the words that our Savior has taught us. Please bow your heads. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And let us continue to pray 
eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made in which your son gave his life, and especially upon Rebecca and Eric, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come to us, to be born of a human mother, and to make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and woman in his name. By the power of your Holy Spirit, Pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle upon their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work. Bless them in their companionship. Bless them in their sleeping. And bless them in their waking. In their joys and their sorrows, in their life, and even in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all the spiritual benediction and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come, have life everlasting. And now, may the peace of the Lord always be with you. you. Eric, you've waited a long time for this. You may kiss your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, It is my biggest honor to introduce to you for the very first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Gronroos. Show them the love. And that is a very good sign because no one has any place to go and it's now time to celebrate this love and this marriage in the way that this family would want you to celebrate.
Thank you.